coming up in today's video. Magnificent views of Cheltenham. We walk through an Iron Age hill fort. Marvel at quarry ruins. We discover a pot of gold. As we walk, let Campton loop. My name's Mike. And I'm Teresa, his better half. <laughs> The Cotswold Way Trail is a 102 mile long scenic route through the quiet Cotswold countryside. Walking the trail can take between 4 to 8 days depending on pace. The trail starts in Chipping Candom and ends in the historic city of Bath. Eric walked the trail in 2021 taking 6 days to complete and collected many memories along the way. Many of us don't have the time or endurance to, to walk the whole trail. So we're going to be showing you eight walking loops that can be completed in a few hours. Our first walk is known as the Leckhampton Loop, which is located south of Cheltenham. I've been taking the short drive from Cheltenham. Our walk starts by the lay-by on the junction between the A436 and 435. The Cotswold Way is in the field next to the lay-by and we follow the footpath towards Leckhampton Hill. Before entering Cowslip Meadow, you're able to locate the new cattle with a smartphone. This is particularly useful if you're accompanied by a four-legged friend. As the trail meanders towards Leckhampton Hill, you start to get glimpses of the views ahead. It's common for folk to sit and take in the views on the many benches along the way or picnic close by. At this point we leave the Cotswold Way Trail and head towards Leckhampton Viewpoint. Although not obvious, we are walking over the ramparts of an Iron Age hill fort. On this occasion, we were too late to claim the pot of gold. When you're looking out over Leckhampton Hill viewpoint, it's not obvious that you're actually stood within an Iron Age hill fort. Leckhampton is one of a number of hill forts constructed along the Cotswold Escarpment between 500 and 100 BC. Now that we're almost halfway through our walk, it's worth taking a short detour to admire the limestone rock formation known as the Devil's Chimney. Legend holds that the Devil's Chimney is the chimney of the Devil's dwelling deep beneath the ground. From common folklore, 
the devil supposedly sits atop the chimney on Sundays, hurling rocks at churchgoers nearby. However, the stones were turned back on him, driving him beneath the ground and trapping him there. Visitors to the chimney would leave a coin on top of the rock as payment to the devil, in exchange for his staying in his underground home. The origins of the chimney are disputed, but most likely they were left behind by the 18th century quarry workers as a joke. There's a number of quarry remains around Leghampton Hill, and this is called Dead Man's Quarry. Like previous visitors, you may like to write your name from the stone remains. We now pick the trail up again, heading down to walk below the old quarries. The ambience of our walk now changes as we stroll along this peacefully enchanting woodland path. Along the way, there are several opportunities to look back up at the quarries now above us. Before long, you'll arrive at a junction of seven paths. Here you'll see several ruins, including the old limestone kilns. Built in 1924, but only lasted a few years before the quarry was sold to Cheltenham Borough Council, and the quarry was closed in 1927. Leaving the kilns behind, we now carry on downhill on what was part of a quarry railway track. You're such a fragile thing, I know. Our mood is now rather upbeat as we now know we're on the homeward journey back to the start of our walk. As we pass several lovely homes with unbelievable views, I had the chance to reflect on Teresa wanting a new home for ourselves. However, as we didn't have the pot of gold, our choices were very much restricted. Just feel the summer sun as it warms our bed. <laughs> so have you found the walk so far? It's been fantastic. The day has been beautiful. It's not been too strenuous of a walk. It's been quite gentle. And we're on the last leg now, really. We are. We might look a bit sweaty, I think, because we've now come out and we're getting the full sun in full our faces. Sun, yes. Um, but apart from that, got lovely views and just walking back now. And we'll pick up the, the road we started from. But I'm trying For a more detailed and printable map of Leckhampton Loop, please look in the video description. Thanks for watching. If you want to follow more of our walks, remember to subscribe to the channel. And we always appreciate likes and shares.